Hey, KIC here, and I have some explaining to do. Well, that last episode, you remember that one? Just pretend it doesn't exist. So, if it's not obvious by now, this game is in early access for a good reason, namely that it's actually not complete. And, well, at this rate, who knows, they might end up finishing it up pretty quickly. The devs have pushed out, I don't know, five or six patches today, and... I don't know how many yesterday, and I don't know how many on Tuesday, but point of this is you have to forget what I was doing the other day because it doesn't matter. So instead, let's pay attention to what we have going on now. Well, assuming I don't get lost, because it sure seems like I have already managed to get lost, which is something of an accomplishment considering I've played around in this particular area for a short while now. You can see just in the distance there, I have a little bit of a hut going on. And yeah, it's highly, highly unfinished, but I'll just show you. There's not much going on with it. So a couple foundations, a few walls, a couple roofs, and technically there's a campfire right there because I placed it before I had anything else built. And the fire was burning nice and bright in the night, and then it started to rain, and poof, out went the fire, just like that. I have to admit, when that happened, the first thing I thought was, oh, crap. Second thing was, that is awesome. Seriously, that was cool. I wasn't expecting that at all. How many times have you played a game and the weather just doesn't matter? Yeah, I've kind of lost count of those. So I was surprised, saddened, and overjoyed all at the same time to see that happen. So right now, early game, not a whole lot going on. I've died, oh, a good five or six times. I do want to show you something, though. I have kind of figured out where I am on the map, except that my map marker is gone. Well, that is really super inconvenient. Let's go ahead and put that in, because I know where I'm at. Ish. So this is about where I'm at. I'm not quite sure why it isn't there. I had placed one before. Wrong button there. But yeah, there you go. So that's about where I am on the map. I've learn to read it slightly better so I will stop saying that it's a terrible map because it's really just a map and it's only as good as the user. That's really what it comes down to. There are late game items that will help you to figure it out. I'm just not there yet. Oh crud. You look like an unhappy dinosaur. That would be a dilo. I... okay. I kind of want to do something here and I don't think I'm going to have Dang, I'm not. I'm not going to have what I want to be able to do that right now. I'd like to tame that guy. It seems like it might be helpful to get my own personal dinosaur, right? But I don't have any fresh meat on me. And this is not getting me any flint. Come on. Flint. Flint. Thank you. That's what I'm looking for. Flint. Not stones. Flint. Come on. More flint. More. More flint. Great. And now let's switch to the hatchet because I'd like to get some wood. I'm going to make another spear just in case. Because there was something in that general direction I would like to show you. It's pretty cool. I hadn't seen it yet. And you might have already seen it. And if you didn't, well, you'll get to see it shortly. I'm... Oh, you are a much bigger dinosaur than the one I was just preparing to kill, which is right there. Oh, you... Oh, you are just bad news. In fact, you're coming this way, aren't you? Maybe you should go fight with the other one. You guys don't fight each other, do you? Oh, if that's not the very definition of inconvenience, I don't know what is. Well, I do have some other stuff I can mess with, but I really kind of need a hide right now, and I haven't even found any dodos around. They're all... I don't know, not here. That's kind of a shame. Well, while I am moving around a little bit, let me just kind of explain why things are so massively different. Since all I said was this game is early access and it's not really finished, that doesn't really answer anything in case you're wondering why things are so different. I wonder if I can... Oh, that was terrible. Right over him. Can I at least go get my spear back? That would be nice. Yay, I got my spear back. Okay. Let's see if I can hit him. 
I, I'm not sure that it'll actually kill the thing, but... Oh, and away it goes with my spear in its wing. Yeah, I kind of thought that would happen. It's all right, I can make more of them. But as I was saying, this game is unfinished. It has been patched a lot. Single player is still pretty much unusable at this point. So this is no longer a single player game. I am now playing on my own private server. So it's me, myself, and I, no one else. Because the server is, well, it's about three feet or four feet away from me. Being hosted on, of all things, a Surface Pro 3. Yeah, that wasn't really what I thought to use that thing for when I bought it, but apparently it has been turned into my own private ARC server. So that's what I have going on with that. So that's why things are different. This is now a multiplayer game. I had to start all over. My single player game, all that stuff I was working on. Never mind the boatload of times I died. That stuff's all gone. It no longer exists, just like that. The devs are working on getting single player to work or at least work less worse than it is now, but they haven't really made all that much headway on it. They posted something about one of the patches saying that they fixed one of the major bugs. I did not see any improvement whatsoever, so I'm just operating under the assumption that they are still trying to fix it because looking at their patch notes and their patch plans, well, that's basically what it says. So obviously they have a little while to go. Now this is nice and early in the game. Ideally there would be some creatures around that I could just kind of slaughter ruthlessly because I really just want one hide right now. Just one would be enough. And gigantic turtles and triceratops are not really the sort of prey I'm looking for right now. A dodo or maybe a dilo on its own would be good, but not with a raptor or a carnosaur or whatever that larger dinosaur was that was near the Dilo. I've been killed over there by one of those guys a couple of times already, so I would prefer to avoid having that happen again. Hey, there we go. Speaking of a dodo. Now, I'm just going to apologize in advance. Sorry, Mr. Dodo, or Miss Dodo. I didn't even pay attention. All I know is I killed the dodo, and I am now chopping it with an axe for its hide. Pro tip. You can switch to the pick, and you'll get more meat than you will get hides. Yeah, who knew? Well, apparently a lot of people, not me. So, why do I want a hide? Let me go ahead and show you. You might have already noticed in my list of craftables, I would like a slingshot. Why would I like a slingshot, you ask? Well, one, because it's the first distance weapon, and in fact, I'm just going to put it on number four, because that seems like a good place to put it. It's the first distance weapon, and it's a good way to essentially knock stuff out. Oh, look at that. They changed how it works with the ammo. It didn't work like this in earlier versions. In earlier versions, you basically took a rock, you broke it into five ammo, and then you were able to, well, shoot stuff. Looks like that has changed a little bit. Interesting. But I am running out of water here, so I'm going to go work on that. And then we're going to go pay a visit to those other dinosaurs that were hanging out over there. Maybe I'll be able to get one of them and not the other. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, so water is all full up again. Let's go ahead and get back to shore here. And kind of wind my way over there and hope, hope, hope that I can take care of things. Although... There is a big turtle over here. I could kill said turtle, or at least knock it out with my handy-dandy slingshot. What level are you? You're level 10, turtle. What about you? You're level 7. Hmm. And there's another one over here on its own. Maybe? Now you do have a friend in the distance. I have noticed when you attack one creature, other ones that are of the same species will try and rally and help out. So I don't necessarily want to anger all of the turtles at one time. Holy cow, you're level 30. I don't think I want to mess with you right now. How about you? What level are you? You're level 2. I think I can take a level 2 as long as level 30 doesn't try and attack me. And I suppose if I really wanted... Hmm, did that even hit it? I, I don't even know if that hit it. That hit it. 
If I really wanted, I could try and knock this guy out, which I am actually working on as we speak. And then I could try and tame it, but what am I going to do with a giant turtle? I can't even put a saddle on it, and look how slow it moves. I'm not even running, and we're basically moving at the same speed. Maybe it's going a tad faster than I can walk backwards. Nope, I'm actually gaining distance on it. And it has now been knocked out. Look at you. Cute little turtle that I am about to ruthlessly slaughter. Chop it away. Chop, chop, chopping, chopping the turtle up. Yep, and apparently none of the other turtles around seem to mind that I am chopping this thing into abyss. Hmm. Sure doesn't seem to be doing much, does it? Come on. Die, turtle. There we go. I figured it would probably be good for a lot of hides, and it would seem I am absolutely correct. Good, because there's still something else I would like to craft, and I still don't have enough. Are you kidding me? All right, Dodo. Say goodbye, Dodo. You are now done. Except I can't seem to equip my spear. Hmm, I don't know what's happening now. Okay, so that one was on me. That was not the game. Server did die, but that's because I had, well, I had the surface set to kind of turn off after 10 minutes on power. Huh, oops, who knew? Well, now I do, so, oh well, things happen. Okay, so, I do have enough to level up and there is still a dodo running around and I was hoping to, what level are you, dodo? You're level 12. Oh, you're pretty good, Dodo. I kind of hate to do this, but I need your hide because I'm about to go do something really dumb. Chop, chop, chop. Come on. Chop it up. Holy cow, I guess I need to repair my stuff. I'm, I'm not getting... Come on, there we go. Finally got the hide and meat out of it. Okay, before I do anything else, let's repair some stuff. Can I... Oh, hmm. that's right, you have to have that in there, and then I can repair it, and I can put that in there. And let's go ahead and repair that guy. Yep, I know, level up, I'm working on that. But I need to do one more thing first, and that is make a sleeping bag, because I am absolutely certain I'm going to need it. The funny thing is, I said at the beginning of this episode, or thereabouts, but I've died a lot, and I have, and yet I keep spawning over here, so maybe the sleeping bag is a complete waste. I'm not 100% sure, but just the same. Let's go ahead and put it on number six. I'm assuming that's how we use this, and put it in here. It's going to be right there in the corner. No? Aha, now you can spin it. Right there. Perfect. I will sleep with my head facing the wall. That sounds good to me. Okay, let's go ahead and access updates here. Oh, we'll go with 110. That's fine. That'll be enough to just kind of help move along a little bit. Uh, 10 points. I still don't have what I need to make a door, so I should probably take that. But I'm kind of thinking I'd like the storage box. That way I can, you know, store some of this junk. Ah, oh, but I'd really like standing torches too. Flag might be kind of nice, just to have something big waving in the, the distance so I can see, hey, that's where I'm keeping my junk. I don't know, something like that. Let's go ahead and do door. We'll learn that engram. And then we'll do storage box. Because I am just about, you can see, just about at full because the devs have fixed the slight issue that was the 1,000 weight. Yeah, that was definitely not intentional. So I'm going to need some more wood and some more fiber before I can put that box together. Just going to mention, I changed some settings while I was waiting for my server to turn back on and get things going. So getting slightly higher frame rates now, actually I'm even seeing in the 40s right now, well, down to 30. In fact, here, let me just show you in case you'd like to see. It's kind of hard to read. It's on the right hand side. It's currently in green text and it'll bounce around between green and yellow and red just as things happen. But just, you can kind of see what sort of performance I'm dealing with here. It's not too terrible at the moment, insofar as this game is concerned, but it's definitely not great. 
Okay, I was trying to get to that so I could get to this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, let's see. Trees to chop down. Take your pick. I mean, there are a lot of them around here. Let's go ahead and do this one. I think that might actually be enough wood. Let's go ahead and check. Box. There it is. Okay, and I would like to be able to make a door, too, and see how that works. So I need some more fiber for the door. So let's grab some fibers here. Maybe. There we go. There's some fibers. I think that's enough, but I'm just going to grab a few more because... Theoretically, I should also be building some additional walls and things, but I'm not going to do that just this moment. I'm just kind of grabbing some materials so I can go ahead and throw that stuff in the box. I mean, hey, why not? Now, the box, from what I recall, is only going to hold 100 pounds of stuff. It's not a lot, but it's definitely enough that you can put some stuff... <laughs> that's a lot of use of the word stuff. But you can put some materials and other things in there, and that's a, at least enough to kind of get you going. Wouldn't mind grabbing a water skin at some point, too. Now that I know how those work, I finally figured that out in between my time of trying to get all of this stuff working and actually getting it working. Just tell you that one really quick. You basically want to get into the water, and you don't necessarily need to be underwater like that. You just need to be in the water. Have the water skin on your belt, hit that button, and you'll go ahead and fill it up with water. You can do the same thing in rain, too, apparently. You can fill it up when it's raining. I haven't tried that yet, so that's only going on what I've read, but I don't have any reason not to believe that. Let's go ahead and put the storage box. We'll do it right about... We'll go right there. Okay, looks like it's a click and then a click. Let's go ahead and throw... What should I throw in here? That meat is going to spoil. I should probably cook that just so I have some food to eat. That's not going to be enough to tame anything with, so... It's not that I really want to keep it. Let's go ahead and we'll drag half of these guys over so I can put 28 stones in there. That'll free up some space. And I don't think this game has any sort of wellness system. If you've played Seven Days to Die, then you know that one has a wellness system. Or maybe you don't, but you do now. Oh, let's put you in there and we'll put you in there. And I don't think that's going to be enough. So I'll just throw all that stuff in there too. And with any luck, that won't catch my thatch foundation on fire because while well, that would really, really stink, I would laugh. I would actually kind of enjoy that. I would appreciate that because that would make perfect sense. I shouldn't do that. And yet here I have, but apparently it's fine. I don't hear any fires raging behind me or anything, so... Looks like I'm good. I'm just going to stick around for just a moment just to make sure that that food cooks so I can go ahead and chomp down on some of it because you can see my food meter is a little low. Here's another tip that if you would like to know maybe specifically your numbers of what's going on in terms of your bars on the right or various other things, hold down the H key. It'll give you some numbers. Now the problem is as soon as you let go of H, that stuff all goes away. So hold it down. There it is. Let go. And there it's gone. So... Just another little tip to kind of keep that one in mind as you're playing. Yep. No, don't want to put out the fire. I want to access the inventory. That's what I would like to do. Because I, I might not want to burn all that thatch, and maybe I would rather burn some wood. Can I do that? Here, we'll, we'll throw a couple more in there. I think that'll be more than we need, actually. And grab that cooked meat. That's going to spoil in a while. Good thing is it will take a little longer to spoil, but not a ton. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, spoiled meat. Um, that does have a use. Huh, look at that. Spoiled meat can spoil. That's interesting. I'm curious what it spoils into. That kind of worries me a little. Let's go ahead and just chomp down on that. I don't even know how much food that gave me. 30.1. And that's going to bump me up to... 50. Wow, so it's basically 20 units worth of food. That's pretty good. Just like that, I'm not feeling too poorly. So, last thing I'm going to do, because I said I wanted to show you something, and now that the sun is going down, I'm not even 100% sure I can get over here because there were lots of nasties. So, trying to keep my eyes open here. Not seeing anything yet. Wouldn't be the first time I got completely surprised by one of these nasty, nasty dinosaurs, so 
Forgive me if I'm taking my time doing so. Aha, there's a Dilo. Okay, maybe. There we go. You are not dead. You are still not dead. Are you dead now? Now you're dead. Oh, you are a level 19. This guy meant business. You should have been worth pretty good experience, I would think. That's kind of a shame. I wouldn't have minded taming him, but like I said, I don't have enough raw meat to do that. So, you work with what you have. I'm going to apparently have to go kill a bunch of other things and get lots and lots of raw meat before I'm able to go ahead and tame anything, but that's okay. One step at a time. That is something nasty, so I apologize, but you will have to enjoy what I was going to show you, which is not me running, but you're going to see that now. I was trying to show you that awesome waterfall. And apparently it did not see me. I'm just going to assume I'm fine and it's going to chew on the turtle instead. Yeah, I am running away, running, running, running away. And that's where I'm calling it an episode because I am a total coward. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later.